My first experience with a high-end CD player was at my friend's place. He owns a system that's about 100 grand. And one thing I noticed with his system is whenever he used his CD player, that's the Esoteric K1 CD player, 30 grand, it just sounded better compared to streaming from his computer. And he also collected other CDs like XRCD, LPCD, HQCD, and those, they will work on a normal CD player. And over the years, I was fortunate enough to hear what the best CD player can do. And that made me a strong believer that a good CD player is still one of the best sources you can get, even today. So now, despite I have transitioned to streaming, well, for convenience, I still kept a few CD players around for that occasional itch. I've tried countless CD players, from 300 bucks all the way to 3-4 grand, many of which were excellent, well, although not as impressive as my friend's CD player, I'm surprised by what I could get with today's affordable CD player. Now, when I was asked if I would like to give the Hegel Viking, this 5 grand CD player I try, I was absolutely curious. How much better is this CD player compared to all my affordable CD players? And how far it is from my friend's high-end CD player? With the law of diminishing return, would it be close? Also, keep in mind that I've listened to at least, what, over 100 DAX and CD players at different price point, so it is really hard to impress me. And for a company to ask 5 grand for a CD player, it better impress me. It better make my jaw drop. I don't know what to say if it does not. So I have an audio buddy whom I call Mr. Kanta. He was with me the day I first powered up the CD player and our jaw dropped. Mr. Kanta quickly took a photo and sent it to the rest of my audio buddies telling everyone how good the CD player is. So much so that he took it home the same day. You see man, these days, unless something is amazing, my friends no longer bother to borrow it. So, what's so good about the Hegel Viking? It's very musical and pleasant to listen to. What do I mean by that? Alright, my friends, today let's talk about the Hegel Viking CD player. Now, the Viking is a CD player that can only play standard red book CDs. I'm a big fan of the idea. Can you play MQA? Nope, but I'm the best at playing CD. Can you play SACD? Nope, but I'm the best at playing CD. Can you stream? Nope. Well, you get the point. So, there's no compromise. You have one job, and you're excellent at it. I also love the simplicity of using a CD player. Hit the power button, slide in the CD, hit play, and that's it. Now having said that, this is the first time it took me more than 30 seconds to figure out how the play button works. So let me show you. To play, you have to hit the corner of this round knob. To eject, you need to press the top. So I was ro trying to rotate it, I was pressing in the middle, I was trying to use voice command, also known as swearing, trying to get it to work. I have to say, it is fine once you get used to it. So instead of six buttons, you have two big ones. A nice design. Now the front display, despite having the same feel and look as their older Mohican CD player, does look more modern, perhaps because it is now an OLED display. Now, oh, by the way, it was chosen for its low noise. Next, this is a slot loading design. I took the time to research what are the advantages of slot loading versus tray loading. Sadly, I, I could not find anything, well, except you lose a free cup holder by going slot loading. I'm kidding. Regardless, I have to say, I never had an issue loading a disc with the Viking. Next, besides having RCA and XLR output, it has a BNC digital output. Perfect if you have the Hego H600, as the H600 has a BNC input. The remote is solid. Finally, the new design is consistent with the new products. Whoever designed the new Hego look did a great job. It still retains the Hego look while modernizing it with just a simple change. Finally, the Viking uses the new AKM 4493 SEQ chip and has two transformer, unlike the Mohican, which only had one. So what makes the Viking special? Two things. It sounds analog 
as in there are no hard edges, and the layering in the soundstage is fantastic. Most of the DAC or CD players I've owned today are hyper detail. Okay, impressive. If someone drop a pin in the recording studio, you're going to hear it. Do you know how many times I have replayed some tracks just to hear the subtle details in the recording? For example, someone coughing in the 17th row in the concert hall. It is impressive at first, but after a while, it does not matter. What the Viking does well is it does not assault you with information. It reminds me of the Elysium 4 speaker. All the detail is there and you can pick it out effortlessly. But nothing is in your face. Nothing is fighting for your attention. Next, although it's very musical and smooth, it is not dull or soft. The dynamic swing is lively enough that it will keep hooking you. Some players are very smooth, but after a while it sounds anemic and you just get bored. Nothing like that with the Viking. It has the right amount of bite and attack. And it does not cross over to the analytical sign. If you compare it to my Cambridge 851 CD player, that's the upsampling $1,000, $1,500 CD player. If you take guitar, for example, you can feel the musician pulling a bit harder on the strings than the Viking. It sparkles more on the top end. Very impressive, hyper detail. However, it does not move my heart like the Viking. When I put on this audiophile voice CD, the voice just melts your heart. Just a brief interruption, esteemed viewers. As you may know, I'm Tom Martin, Chief Content Officer of The Absolute Sound. We have a new product. It's on the Substack platform, and we're going to do some interesting things with Substack, first of which is reader questions and answers. Each Monday, readers will submit questions, we'll pick the most interesting ones, and we'll answer the questions on Friday. We'll also have early access to articles and special blogs that don't appear anywhere else. We hope you'll join us. It's only a cost of a cup of coffee per month. Just check on the screen or in the show notes below. Thanks, and now back to the show. Next, the uh, layering in the soundstage. The distance between the front and back will catch your attention. There is more space between the singer and the instrument. This may be thanks to the dark background that things pop out or separate more. I'll go as far as to say that with, out of all the 100 DAGs and CD players I've tried, the Viking performance in this sense is easily the top 5%. So just these two things, smooth analog sounding, multi-layer soundstage, just shut up and take my money. So many of you might ask, how's the bass, how's the speed, and so forth. Look man, at this level, it passes everything with A. The bass can go deep. What you need to know is those two things that I just mentioned, they, those are the two things that stood out. Now, some of you might worry that it might be veil sounding if I keep repeating, keep repeating that it is smooth sounding. Not at all. If you compare the Viking to my older Creek audio CD player, both on the smooth side, but the biggest difference is the Viking has more resolution and texture in the mid range, well, which is to be expected given the price difference. Now, I like using that audio file CD because it is well recorded. And with the Viking, the clarity of the breath of the singer is next level, which gives you the re illusion of removing an extra layer of veil and bring you closer to the singer convincingly. Nothing feels forced. So for me, the Viking CD player is a step up from all my other players. From memory, how does it compare to my friend's 30 grand esoteric CD player? They're different, they take different paths. The esoteric CD is more what I consider very detailed, but in a good way. Where when somebody drops a pin, right, as I said, in the recording studio, you're gonna hear it. Well, the Viking is more on the musical side, a bit like comparing hyper detailed vocal versus Harbeth speakers, right, for two different crowds. My audio buddy, Mr. Kanta, who likes uh, hyper detailed vocal speakers, you choose the esoteric, while my other audio buddy, Mr. Quad, who owns a pair of Quad 2905, which is on the smooth side, we choose the Viking. Question of taste. So what about the negatives? The remote, the buttons are so small as if they were made for babies. There's no standby button. There's no USB out, no coaxial out, nor optical out. Only BNC digital out. Well, how many of you have a DAC that can use BNC? Sure, if you own the new Hego H600 that has BNC input, Maybe. Maybe that's their way of encouraging you to buy the Hego H600. 
And joking aside, turns out the reason was pretty logical. Let me quote what Higo told me. Ideally, we didn't even want to have a digital output since an important point of the Viking is having one integrated player where the whole digital signal chain is controlled by one master clock. When you connect an outside DAC, that falls apart. Still, we felt we needed to offer it and then BNC is at least a true 75 ohm output and much more compatible with standalone DACs than I2S, for example. Okay. So let's wrap it up. What I find fascinating is, despite we have high-res streaming today, MQA, 96K files that you can purchase online, they don't necessarily sound better than a simple Redbook 44K CD. Even if I upscale my music library to 192, even if I can, I don't, because I always end up going back to 44.1K. It just sounds more natural. Let me finish by telling you a story. At the Toronto Audio Fest, I got a chance to listen to the Manapan 3.79 with the Hego H600 integrated amp. I was initially puzzled as to why the presentation was not as smooth as I expected it to be. After all, they were using the Viking with the H600. Turns out they forgot to bring the CD, you know, Murphy's Law. So they were streaming to the H600 instead. I asked them to put the Viking on and 30 seconds was all I needed. That smooth analog sound came through. You see, the Viking really has a specific sound and it's fantastic. So with that, I'll see you next time.